my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back, my lovelies. Let's see what you guys can expect for the month of December. We're going to do all zodiac signs. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. We have tons of readings as well as spell videos coming through for you guys for this new year and for the end of the year, of course. All right, we're going to begin here with our lovely Sagittarius. It is Saggy season, so congratulations to all of you guys. Happy holidays, you guys. I want to wish every single one of you guys the very best. I hope you guys enjoy the holiday season as much as we do on this side. All right, let's see what you guys can expect for this month of December. If you guys are interested in personal consultations, you can find all of our links below in the description box below, as well as... Um, the links to our shadow work journal that just came out, the manifestation book as well, or the gratitude journal. You can find all of that on the description box below. For spell work and consultations, now is the time to uh, pretty much book because we do get booked a couple of months in advance. So just so you guys know, we are scheduling now for January and February. All right, my lovelies, let's get into the reading. Let's see what you guys can expect. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, please step forward. Allow us to see, hear, sense, and receive the messages loud and clearly for all of our signs. We're going to begin here with Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, Sagis, let's see what you guys can expect. All right, give me a card that represents how they will be communicating with the element of air for the month of December. The month of December. Here we go. All right. So you have the strength card. Strength card does indicate that there has been an ongoing battle that you've been going through Sagittarius. And it is a beautiful omen because it speaks about having the power, the tenacity and the wisdom to actually get through it. You have the strength within you. Do not doubt yourself for this month of December. Now, when it comes to when it comes to the element of earth with this pentacles, which is finances and career, we have the queen of cups. So for this month, you guys may be dealing with a water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a female energy that comes in and helps you. Now, this could represent someone that is or that has a very good energy towards you in your career or finances. You may be dealing with them this month in December. For others of you, it could represent a mother figure or having a mother figure around that is going to really help you really get through certain situations that the strength card is talking about here. So again, try the best you can to rely on those that you love and trust. Um, what I'm hearing is for some of you guys, uh, mother figure is going to be very important this month of December. So just keep that in mind. Now, when it comes to the Okay, just wanted to see what other messages come up here. Try to lead with your heart this month, Sagittarius. It's going to be very important. Queen of Cups can also indicate having to go within, having the need to tap into our emotions or to allow ourselves to feel certain type of emotions. Don't run away from it. Don't feel like you have to create this facade of the strong one. Sometimes it's okay to ask for help, Sagittarius. Now, the next card here in regards to your challenge position, we have the Ace of Swords. You're going to be challenged in the aspect of having to speak your truth or be honest about certain things. Sometimes it's uncomfortable, you guys. Sometimes we have difficulty really expressing how we're feeling because we don't want to hurt people's feelings or we don't want to say the wrong thing. But in this month, I highly encourage you guys to speak your mind. Be completely honest and transparent, even if it makes you feel like you're being put in an uncomfortable position. Some of you guys, what I'm hearing is a feeling or experiencing the feeling of having to pick a side. So it could be a bit of family drama that you may be dealing with this month. However, again, speak your truth and be honest with yourself. Now, when it comes to emotions, we have here the high priestess. So the high priestess does indicate, again, intuition tapping into your divine feminine Sagittarius when we're talking about love and romance there is something that you've been questioning or wondering for others of you you've been doubting certain things listen to your intuition I recently had a by recently I mean today I had a consultation with a client and something came up that is very 
something that I see very often with clients or with people in general. And oftentimes we get up and go out of our way to do something when we know we shouldn't do it. And then we find ourselves in a position that is an uncomfortable position. As an example, your car breaks down when you're going somewhere you shouldn't have gone. Uh, This is spirit's way of telling you you're on the right path. Do not be distracted or do not falter from that path because oftentimes that keeps you from progress. Even when we're talking about, you know, the situation that I'm giving you as an example, um, she had shut the door on someone and then she reconnected. And for some, it was almost as if, you know, the universe, oh, maybe this time. But then she quickly noticed that she had to go out of her way again, continuing a pattern of having to put the effort. And when she did that, she knew in her gut that she shouldn't go or that she shouldn't do it, yet she still did. So when she found herself in an uncomfortable position, she then questioned, why didn't I listen to my intuition? So again, High Priestess is telling you, listen to your intuition, listen to what where you're being guided and what you're being told. Pay attention to the signs this month, Sagittarius. Now, when we talk about spirits message here, page of wands, do not fear or do not be scared of taking on a new endeavor or taking on a new um, a new lease on life. Do not be fearful of the future. What they're telling you is learning to be like living in the present, being present, Sagittarius, is going to be very important for you this month. All right, my lovelies, we are moving on now. Let's see what spirits messages here for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Capricorn season is coming. Woo woo. I am a Capricorn myself, so pretty excited about that. All right, let's see what Capricorns can expect for this month of December, 2023. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, one more shuffle. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go. Now, when we talk about communication for this month, element of air, we have the seven of wands. You're going to need to stand your ground on something, Capricorn. This month is going to be very crucial and very important for you to not back down from boundaries. So there is almost this energy that you you guys have been going through where it's almost like, and I, I think I spoke about it in the beginning of this year or the end of last year, beginning of this year, when I do the 2000 or when I do the yearly predictions in January. And it was almost an energy of like having the need or for you, you're going to feel like you're having the need to be selfish. And then you question or doubt, am I doing the right thing? Because you're not used to that. But what spirit is saying is at this point, you're at the end of the year, Capricorn, you should learn to stand your ground and you should learn to create boundaries. If people cannot respect that, then they're not people that should be in your life. So again, seven of wands encourages us to continue on the path that we're on and to remember to halter or to push people that are pushing back and crossing that line of boundaries. So again, very important for this month. Now, when we talk about, now, when we talk about, um, uh, finances and career, you have the death card. So the death card does indicate that there is a major transformation. For a lot of you Capricorns, I feel like there's going to be some type of change happening here. Now, for some of you guys, it could be that you're changing profession or that you're going to a different company. Um, it's almost like in a, a connection where you're at right now, but it's it's not in the same lo- location. So again, for some of you guys, there is a big change coming around or surrounding your career or your finances. There is a need for you to embrace this new cycle, this new beginning Capricorn in your money. For some of you guys, you're starting to notice that you're not making money the way you did or that it's not becoming as consistent as you were accustomed to. And the reason for that is because Spirit is telling you it's time to expand. You've outgrown either your position, you've outgrown either what you're doing right now. You should be, you know, think big or go home type of energy. So again, the death card is talking about a major change that's coming. For some of you guys, if you're willing to embrace it, it's going to be much more easier. And it's almost like heaven sent for some. For others of you that resisted a little bit, um, it, it may be a bit challenging for, for some of you guys, you're already experiencing this, the feeling of like, I have to do something different. 
but it's kind of scarier. I'm in a place where I don't really know if I want to actually take that leap of faith. Spirit is telling you it's time to take that leap of faith, Capricorn. Now, when we talk about your challenge here, you have the page of swords. So communication in regards to negative communication is what I'm hearing. For some of you guys hearing rumors, um, you're going to be experiencing a lot of he said, she said type of energy. Try to not get wrapped up in that Capricorn, okay? You have to remember, oftentimes what I tell my clients is if someone comes and tells you, so-and-so said this about you, two questions should pop into your head. One, why is this person telling me this, right? If it's a friend, someone that loves you, why do they want to throw off your energy? And two, um, what is the true reason or purpose why they're coming to me telling me this when they were there in that position and could have spoken for you and they didn't. So again, what they're telling you is don't fall into that drama or don't get caught up in the drama. Now, when we talk about love and romance, we have the three of swords. So for some of you guys, you're going to be going through a revelation that's happening or it's been unfolding. For some of you guys, you've already experienced this. It's almost the feeling of being let down and the beauty in this is that I already see it happening, Capricorn. So for some of you guys, it's going to resonate very differently because it's a general reading. But Three of Swords usually indicates the betrayal, the feeling hurt, the feeling um, like someone really let you down, right? And it is the worst pain ever because it has more to do with the trust. So again, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're already, you've already experienced this. I feel like the three of swords is coming up in reverse position, which indicates you're coming out of this energy. What I'm hearing is for some of you Capricorns, you've built a wall so high when it comes to love and romance. And it's based on this. It's based on the hurt and pain that you've gone through in the past. I see the wall coming down. And the reason why it's coming down is because you've healed already. You've outgrown this energy. You no longer want to be secluded. For some of you guys, you're actually going out of your way to meet people or to connect. And the reason for that is because you've been in that solitary type of energy long enough. It's time to fully throw yourself out there and embrace. One thing I always tell clients when I'm consulting with them is yes, when we go through hurt and pain or difficulties, it is very difficult to get over it. But once we heal, you have to remember not to stay in that energy for too long. Why? Because then you become numb. And the thing about life is that yes, love sometimes is painful, but the reward is so much bigger and it's better to feel than to not feel and go about life feeling numb. Okay. All right. And finally, your spirit's message here is the two of swords. Cut the noise, Capricorn. Start listening to your inner voice. You've been ignoring your inner voice. There are certain changes that are coming that you cannot ignore. It is time to step up. It is time to elevate. You've been doing this. But with the two of swords, it's telling us it's time for us to shut the world out. And what I mean by that is I don't mean be isolated. Actually, they're telling you the opposite of that. What they're telling you is don't pay attention to the noise. Don't pay attention to the naysayers. Don't pay attention to the people that are telling you, you can't do that Capricorn or you shouldn't do that Capricorn. Listen to your inner voice. If you feel passionately about what you're feeling inside, listen to that because that's going to pay off. Whether it's in love, whether it's in finances, listen to that. All right, my lovelies, we are moving on here. Let's see what's coming for Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to the month of December, 2023. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what you guys can expect. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you guys are new. We have tons of videos coming through for you guys as well as spell work. If you guys are interested in personal readings, cleansings, or any type of spell work, you can find the link to my online store below. All right, Aquarius, let's see what's going on. Now, in regards to communication, you have the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles indicates to me being embraced this month, Aquarius, I feel like you guys are getting a pat in the back or you're being appreciated <laughs> for once, right? You're being appreciated. You're being very homey this month. I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's reconnecting with family members. For others of you, it's just being around and being able to embrace the family connection. Um, I do see for some of you guys dealing with a Capricorn, 
for others of you, it's an earth sign that you're going to be relying on this month or going to get some type of advice this month. And I feel like this is the best thing you can do if you are dealing with a Capricorn and you're going to them for some type of advice, listen, because I feel like it's coming through and specifically they're saying Capricorn. It could be a earth energy, Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn, but I heard Capricorn. So again, listen to the advice. I feel like they're coming from a genuine place and they want nothing but the success for you that you deserve. So pay attention to that. Now, when we talk about, when we talk about um, a completely wind blank spirit, Okay. Sorry, you guys. Give me a minute. When it comes to your career and finances, sorry. We have the Page of Cups here. So the Page of Cups is indicating communication, um, communicating with someone or finding out that someone in your workplace is interested in you. And yes, it can be awkward. Um, but I'm hearing that there is a opportunity to connect when we're talking about love and romance. Now, it can come of two ways. One, you can actually find out that a person this month is interested in you and actually takes a leap of faith and asks you out. Another way that I'm hearing or I'm seeing it play out is you finding someone in the workplace or connecting with someone in the workplace. Um, I feel like for those of you guys that you're going to be finding out this month someone's interested in you or has an eye on you, I feel like they've been having their eye on you for quite a while, but it, it's almost like they're finally getting the courage to actually step up and communicate with you. So fully embrace that uh, Aquarius. If you are single, I feel like it's a very joyful and playful type of energy. It's a, a genuine person is what I'm hearing. Now for others of you, there's a proposal that's going to be coming through for you guys in regards to finances and career. You have your own business or run your own business or are working with a company, I feel like there's a proposal or some type of project that is beginning to, you know, get off the ground. And I feel like they're going to be coming to you or offering you that opportunity. Definitely take it head on Aquarius. Now, when we talk about the challenge here, we have the King of Wands. So the King of Wands as a challenge indicates having the need to take action Aquarius. I feel this month, it's going to be very important to take action. Do not procrastinate. Do not put things, you know, in the back burner. It's time to deal with whatever's coming up head on. And the reason for this is because there's almost this momentum that is starting to pick up and you fully want to embrace this going into next year. Why? Because you're going to be more, I'm seeing you more like a quickness to, to making things or making things happen. And you want to start to embrace that energy. Now, uh, I see you guys becoming, you know, what I'm hearing is go get her. What I'm, what I'm hearing is, you know, make it happen type of energy. So again, 2024, I feel like it's going to open up a lot of doors for you guys, but to fully be able to experience all of those opportunities coming through for you, it's going to take you a bit having to get out of your comfort zone, Aquarius. Now for the challenge this month, um, sorry, in regards to love and romance, we have the hermit here. So a little bit isolated, a little bit introspective Aquarius this month. I feel like you guys are doing a lot of, you know, reminiscing or thinking about the past and the lessons that you've learned. However, again, like the message that I gave to Capricorn, try the best you can not to stay in that energy for too long. At this point, it's time to go out and make things happen. So if you're thinking or wanting to embrace love, stop thinking about it and actually make it happen. Go out there, you know mingle with people, connect with people. Um, don't be so, you know, <laughs> I'm seeing like a steel wall. So uh, it could be a representation of like a bitch face. <laughs> Try to be more embracing when you're out in public. Smile a little more often, Aquarius. Now, when it comes to spirits advice, you have Jupiter card here, which is the wheel of fortune, striking luck. Your luck is about to change Aquarius. But again, I, I feel like Sometimes when we have Jupiter's blessing, right, it, it's it's bringing us in blessings and it's like almost a, a strike of luck. But for some of you guys, it's going to need you to get a little bit off your ass and actually make things happen so that you can fully see the major changes that are happening. So again, Spirit's telling you here, your luck is about to change for the very positive, whatever area in your life you have been having difficulty, you're almost going to feel very blessed in that area. But Again, 
take on opportunities head on, embrace new beginnings and get out of your comfort zone, Aquarius. All right, my lovelies, moving on here. Let's see what's coming for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this month of December, 2023. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what you guys can expect for this month. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Pisces, Pisces. All right, here we go, Pisces. And when it comes to communication, you have the Ace of Cups. I feel like you're feeling very embraced this month, Pisces. Even in situations where you felt like people weren't really giving you the emotional support that you need or that you needed, I feel like it's finally coming through. And I'm going to say something. If for some of you guys, you felt like you were going through like emotional, you know, murky waters and you felt like people discarded, discarded your feelings or didn't really embrace uh, or even lend an earing or a hearing ear. Wait, is that how you say it? No, lend an ear to you. Um, I feel like what they're telling you here is don't take it personal. I feel like a lot of people have been dealing with a lot of shit in their life lately. It's nothing personal is what they're saying. A lot of people had a lot going on. So again, I feel like this month though, people are going to be actually reaching out to you and checking up on you and making sure that you're good. And every communication or the people that you are communicating with are very emotionally supportive, as well as very, like even giving you advice that motivates you and gets you out of that, you know, mushy type of energy um, or stagnation. I feel like you're getting motivated this month. Now, when it comes to your career and finances, we have the eight of pentacles. So putting your nose to the grindstone, this is a message about keep at it, Pisces, keep putting that effort. Do not feel discouraged. I feel like this month, again, with the ace of cups there, it's telling you that you're going to be noticed or you're going to be rewarded for your heart determination or your hard work. So I see for some of you guys experiencing the payoff of your hard work for others of you, I feel like you're stepping onto a higher ranking position. For others of you, there is an incentive that's coming in or some type of bonus. Again, I feel like it comes hand in hand with a higher ranking position this month. Now, when it comes to your challenge here, we have the Ace of Swords. Get out of your head, Pisces get out of your head. That's the only thing I can tell you. Eight of swords indicates to me, like kind of drowning yourself in a glass of, uh, uh, what is it? A half empty glass of water. I feel like you guys are overthinking and overanalyzing. This could be Saturn's energy sitting in your sign, the pressure, you feel the pressure. And now it's like you kind of try to run away from it or overthinking and overanalyzing and making a little thing very huge. The only way to get out of that type of energy is fully being able to acknowledge what you're feeling, but also being able to remember everything is passing, meaning everything is temporary and nothing will remain the same. If this is a fear that things are changing and nothing is remaining the same, get out of your head by remembering what I just said. Everything is passing and temporary. And yes, that can be scary, but the beauty behind that is that there's always something new that comes into our life that gives us purpose and more courage to continue going on. So again, I feel the challenge this month is yourself. Learn to get out of your way. If you're feeling like you're just in this mental space of, you know, a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry, try journaling, try automatic writing or script writing. Journaling is really going to help you. I feel like it's very important to put your energy towards other things so that you can be distracted and continue the energy of being motivated and focused. Now, when we talk about love and romance, we have the five of wands. So for some of you guys, there's a lot of attention that you're going to be experiencing this month of December. I feel like for some of you guys, you're getting a lot of opportunities or people coming to you to try to get closer to you or to try to connect with you. So I do see a few suitors coming through for you guys. So for some of you, if you've experienced lack of romance, I feel like that starts to pick up this month in December. Now, for others of you, when we talk about long-term and committed relationships, Five of Wands does indicate the constant battle, but I feel like it's arguing about petty stuff, arguing about things that you've been, the root of this is that you've been holding on to certain things and 
something as simplistic as them, you know, raising their voice will trigger something and have you snapping. So what they're telling you is acknowledge the energy or acknowledge the feelings that you have in that moment and speak about it or speak up about it. Don't suppress it because that's going to help you better communicate with each other. If anything, I'm hearing like miscommunication and again, petty arguments that has more to do with being right. And when it comes to a relationship, sometimes we have to back up a little bit and remember, it's not about being right. It's about being able to understand each other or at least meet each other halfway. And if that can happen, then what's the point of being in a relationship with someone that is not willing to at least try to put themselves in your shoes. And finally, Spirit's message for you here is the Five of Pentacles. And this is something I've been telling a lot of you guys on Instagram. It's very important to do self-healing and self-love working. Shadow work is very important, you guys. I get constantly told I'm having difficulty manifesting or when I manifest, it manifests like halfway, not completely. It comes down to self-love. And if it's something you've never worked on, I highly encourage you guys to get the, you know, the shadow work journal that is going to help you. And the spirit's message here with the five of cups, there is something that you fear greatly, Pisces, that affects your love and romance, as well as the, you know, the connection that you have with other people. And it comes down to the feeling or the issues of abandonment. So this is something that you have to work through. I feel like you're going to be experiencing this month a little bit of highs and ups when it comes to emotions. I feel like it's going to be a great month for you guys because there's a lot of self-growth that's happening. But the main focus, I think, that what they're trying to say here is learning to choose yourself. Okay? Like I was telling Capricorn, learning to be selfish sometimes is a necessity. Okay, so no more self-sacrificing for other people, Pisces. It's time to think about yourself. It's time for you to love yourself and don't abandon yourself. The fear that you have of abandonment issues or other people abandoning you. In reality, when you, as an example, get into a relationship, you are so emotionally enthralled in that, that everything becomes the relationship for you. And in essence, what you're doing is you're kind of abandoning yourself to try to be in the present moment in that relationship. But relationships is not just, that's just one aspect of our life. We have so many aspects. So it's about balance. All right, Pisces. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For the month of December 2023. If you guys enjoy these readings, like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Let's see, Pisces, Pisces, or sorry, not Pisces, Aries. <laughs> Some of you Aries are going to be dealing with a Pisces this month. Okay, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Aries. Aries, I love Aries, you guys. I have so many friends and I've dated a lot of people that are Aries. I had two very long-term commit, committed relationships with fire science, uh, Aries. <laughs> you guys are amazing. I love you guys' this energy, believe it or not. Capricorns with Aries, I feel like it's a very, very good connection, whether it's friendship or relationship. All right, Aries, let's see what's going on with you guys. In regards to communication, we have the six of swords. You're moving on from something. You're moving on from some issue that you were dealing with. Uh, I hear for some of you guys, you were trying to work something out. This could be not necessarily romantically. It could be just in general, you're having a bit of issues communicating with someone. And I feel like this month you're like, that's it. I'm done. I'm no longer dealing with it. I'm going to keep it pushing. And I feel like that's the best thing you can do. Aries at this point, what they're telling you is walk away from pettiness, walk away from anything that is no longer serving you. I see you guys actually going towards uh, much more better, stable emotions. And I feel like it has a lot to do with the situation that you've been dealing with or have been coming to the culmination of completely, again, like I said, throwing in the towel and saying, I'm done. I'm no longer dealing with that. Now, when it comes to, when it comes to your finances and career, we have the seven of cups. Okay. 
I see you guys wanting to do a lot of things, Aries. And what they're telling you is at this point, at least for this month of December, try the best you can to be focused. Okay. So out of everything that's coming through for you guys, because there's a lot you guys want to do. There's a lot that you guys have planned for 2024. What they're saying is in order to make sure that it happens, focus primarily one thing or one task at a time. Because if you overwhelm yourself, what's going to happen is that you're going to be scattered or you're going to feel like you're all over the place. So what they're telling you is discipline right now is going to be very important for this month. Now, when we talk about your challenge for this month, we have the nine of wands, again, throwing in the towel. I feel like it comes hand in hand with the six of swords. So for a lot of you guys, you're walking away from something that you've been trying to work very hard towards, but at this point it is it's like you are just cutting your losses. And again, I feel like it's something that's been coming. So whatever situation arises in the month of December where you feel like you've overextended yourself or you've gone above and beyond and people or circumstances or situations just make you feel like you have to put more of yourself. No, it's quite the opposite. You have to pull your energy back and decide to walk away from that or create a boundary around that. Okay, very important for you guys this month. Now, when it comes to love and romance, you have the hanged man. I told you guys, some of you guys are going to be dealing with a Pisces. For others of you, I feel like what I'm getting is being able to see things from a different perspective is really going to help you in regards to love and romance. So there are certain things that you have like in your belief system about relationships or about how relationships should be that instead of helping you, it's been hindering you. I feel this month you have an aha moment where you realize that's what's been keeping me from, you know, being able to fully embrace or being able to fully give myself into a relationship or quite the opposite. This is the reason why I keep getting into relationships where I have to sacrifice myself and I'm no longer doing that. Okay. Now, finally, Spirit's message for you, Aries, is the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is about financial stability. So what they're telling you is whatever issues you're dealing with in your finances, I feel like you're going to be shown this month that things start to become much more stable and that you're very capable of stabilizing or creating the financial stability that you've been wanting you have it in you, Aries. You're the only one that doesn't believe it. So it's time you start believing it. All right, my lovelies. Moving on. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with my lovely Taurus for the month of December 2023. 2023. Are you guys excited about next year? I am so over 2023. I think 2023 was the repercussions of everything that's been happening since 2020 or 2021. Um, so 2024 is definitely going to be a much more better year for everyone, for every sign. Um, also, what I have coming through for you guys is sigils. Not sure if you guys know what sigils are, but um, sigils are symbols that carry vibration and that carry, um, certain powers depending on the type of sigil that it is. And I'm going to be doing, or you're going to be able to find, you know, um, sigils on my online store that are, will be printed out for you guys. So you guys can cut out and empower it. I'm going to be doing videos about that. So you guys know the lowdown, but you guys stay tuned for that. Okay, CJ magic is very powerful magic, you guys. Powerful. All right, let's see what's going on with Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I don't know why I started talking about CJ's. I was going to announce that next year. <laughs> so for some of you, Taurus, you guys are in the manifestation process. For others of you guys, perhaps you're beginning to work with CJ's. Uh, this is just the validation for you guys, okay? All right, let's see what's going on with Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of December. Here we go, Taurus. In regards to your communication, ooh, we have the Emperor card here. So the Emperor is about being in control. It is about no one moves or no one says anything until you say yes or no. So I feel you guys very empowered this month of December. You guys are very much sitting in your power. And what they're telling me here is with this Emperor card, 
there's almost this energy of taking inventory about what's going on in your life, about what you have, about what you want and taking the power to actually make that happen. So I see you guys becoming much more disciplined. I see you guys becoming much more, like I said, empowered. And when we talk about communication, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with an Aries. For others of you, you may be dealing with a masculine energy that is really going to make you feel very empowered. So this is a person that's going to raise your confidence. For some of you guys, this is love coming in. Uh, very masculine energy here. This is a mature man. Could be female. Doesn't have to be. Uh, it is just an energy. But it is coming through as very masculine energy. So if it's a female, it could be a female that is quite dominant. Or someone that is just the type that makes shit happen. So uh, stay tuned for that. You guys definitely come back and let me know how that goes. In regards to your career and finances, we have the two of swords. So the two of swords, I see you guys wandering. I see you guys wanting more. Almost like I want, I want something different. I want change, but you don't know how to go about it. And what spirit is telling you is go within Taurus, go within go within and it is as simplistic as getting yourself a white piece of paper and writing down five things that you want to be doing as an example, as a career or whatever it is, as a occupation, whatever it is, five things that you want to be doing that you enjoy doing. And then writing another five things about the energy or the environment that you're working. And by you doing this, what you're doing is you're becoming much more clear on what it is that you want to do. And you're also being more clear to the universe about the things that you're trying to draw into your life. I feel like you guys have been ignoring that little voice within you that's been telling you there is change, there is change, or I want change. And what spirit is telling you is stop being scared. Stop being scared. Take the leap of faith and make it happen. Now, when we talk about your challenge this month is the Four of Pentacles. So the Four of Pentacles is being a bit reserved or feeling like you're a bit reserved. For some of you guys, the challenge is going to be learning to, I don't want to say necessarily spend less, but be more wiser with your money. If you're thinking about investing, if you're thinking about you know, putting money into something, what they're telling you is hold back a little bit right now because it's not perfect timing. I feel like more so February, March would be a good time for you guys to invest. But right now, be a little bit more cautious about making or taking on extra expenses that are unnecessary. Now, when we talk about love and romance, we have the eight of cups. So you guys are finally walking away or finally closing the door. That chapter in your past is completely closed now, Taurus. You're walking away from a situation or a relationship that has a culmination of being extremely toxic. And at this point, it's gotten out of hand. For others of you, I see you guys being able to put yourself out there. I see you guys really embracing this new energy of being empowered, being more confident in yourself or working on getting your confidence back. And this is beautiful energy because eight of cups is always like, once you've been stuck in a situation or been, you know, fantasizing about the things you want to do or about what you want to experience or whatever it's like finally you're out of your head and you're actually taking action so you're actually walking the walk now is the time to do that and I feel that December is definitely going to bring to you guys unexpected news as well that is going to really want to push you to take on a more spontaneous energy Taurus now spirits advice here for you guys is the page of swords so the page of swords could indicate communication that's going to be coming in for you guys that it's going to catch you a little bit by surprise. For some of you guys, it could be hearing from an ex-lover. And when I mean ex-lover, I don't mean like a recent ex. I feel like it's someone that you've known for quite a while that may come back around or that you may uh, be hearing from. Um, but again, I feel like it's from a distance. So this could be through social media, communication, or text. I don't feel like it's a one-on-one -on -one type of thing. It has more to do with communication. What they're telling you here is don't go back to embracing the past just because you're bored or just because you feel like uh, nothing's really happening because things are going to be happening for you, Taurus, pretty soon. So uh, stay in your 
energy of being empowered, working on yourself and much better things are coming than our new energy. Okay. All right, my lovelies, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of December, 2023. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, 2023. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what you guys can expect for this month of December, Gemini. All right, here we go. In regards to communicate, oh, we got two cards that we pulled out. Okay. In regards to communication, I pulled two cards. So I'm just going to stay with them and roll with it. Okay. <laughs> or go with it. We have the emperor and the two of swords. So in regards to communication, Gemini, I feel like you may be dealing with an Aries or you may be dealing with an energy of a person that in the past was extremely toxic or very domineering. It was a person that was very controlling. I feel like they may be reaching out to you this month. And with the two of swords in the depths of you, uh, Gemini, you're going to know that it's not the right thing or that you shouldn't listen to that. Okay. I don't want you to ignore it. I don't want you to go run away in fantasy land and think that maybe this time it'll be different. It's not. And what spirit is telling you is listen to your voice because you're not going to be wrong. Listen to it. Okay. Don't get wrapped up in the moment. Try the best you can to acknowledge that you've learned those, les those lessons, you've outgrown it, you've outgrown that person, and you've outgrown that situation, okay? I feel like you guys are going to be tempted. Now, for others of you, it doesn't have to be a masculine. It could be a female energy. It could be an ex. It could be someone that was very domineering and almost like a bit narcissistic. I feel like the reason why they're reaching out or the reason why they're trying to come back is because they still have this constant need to feel like they have control over you or over your life. So again, close that energy, block yourself from that type of energy because there are better things coming for you, Gemini. Now, when we talk about your finances and career, we have the four of pentacles. So indicating to me that there is almost this constant need or desire to create more stability in your life. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But what they are telling you is try the best you can not to embrace the energy of being stingy or, you know, you're, you got, let's just say you got a hundred dollars and you're starving and you have had a very long week and you're like, oh, do I want that burger or do I just get home and, and get myself, you know, some marucha? <laughs> For those of you guys that don't know, it's like the noodles, right? The cup of noodles. Anyways, um, but you've been working really hard. So what they're telling you is don't overdo the not spending because when we count every penny, you are embracing the energy of less or of poverty. And you don't want that because don't prevent yourself from treating yourself when you've been working really hard because that energy of, and I'm not saying go out and spend thousands of dollars. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that if you prevent yourself from experiencing a treat or something that you are showing yourself self-love about and you prevent yourself from doing that because you're like, oh, I'd rather not break the hundred dollar bill. That's not good energy because you are telling the universe that you are lacking and you're constantly embracing that mentality. So you're going to constantly be lacking. So again, don't be stingy. Now, when we talk about your love and romance, page of swords, again, I feel like there is definitely communication that's happening or that's going to be building up this month for you guys with the next, there is an ex that's coming back, whether you want to hear that or not, that's what spirit is saying. Page of swords, quick communication, communication that's coming through that is unexpected. They've been watching you or if they haven't been watching you because you haven't been posting, that's the reason why they're reaching out. You get what I'm saying? They want to know what's going on. Close the door on that shit. Now, finally, your spirit's message here is the lover's card. I feel this whole reading has to do with love. Um, okay, so what they're showing me is being at crossroads or being like at a fork, right? Right. Wanting to turn right, wanting to turn left. Let's just say right is the past, left is the present or future. Even though it feels like 
things are not moving the way you would want them to move, Gemini. They are. It's just that you're facing forward. So you can't see what's happening behind the scenes or you're not seeing what's happening in the back, in the background. What spirit is telling you is don't embrace the past, right? Don't embrace that X because you've outgrown that. And if it's out of the fear of being lonely or out of the fear of not finding the person that's right for you, even though you may not see it now, your spirit guides are working that out. The universe is working that out. So make the left, go towards the future. Don't go towards the past because the past only holds us back. All right. All right, my lovelies. Moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Cancer. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys like these readings, like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you guys are wanting consultations, readings, spell work, any of our journals, manifestation journals, shadow work journal, all of that, you can find that on the link below. All right, my lovelies. By the way, I want to let you guys know, for those of you guys that are on my Patreon and support my channel, thank you guys so much for supporting. I'm going to be sending out gifts for some of you guys. I've already contacted and communicated with you guys. Uh, and for those of you guys that are just recently, that recently joined, uh, I'm going to be very proactive on there, doing a lot of readings that are behind the scenes, as well as readings I can do on here. And uploading certain spells that I can't upload here. So you guys definitely have a lot to see for this, this year that's coming, all right? All right, here we go. Let's see what's going on with Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go. Cancer, in regards to communication, you have the Emperor card here. So I feel like for some of you guys, you're going to be dealing with a father figure. Um. You're going to be dealing with a father figure. For others of you, you're going to be dealing with the childhood trauma that you could have experienced in early childhood um, with the father figure. So whether it was the absence of, of him or whether it was for some the mistreatment of him, um, that doesn't necessarily have to be a father figure. It could be a mother that was very domineering. Um, but I feel like this month, there is a lot of healing that's happening around this emperor or past wounds about a father figure that you're going to be, maybe you've already been dealing with that cancer, but I feel like there is almost this healing energy that is unfolding that is going to almost remind you or like you're going to experience a situation where you kind of remember the things that you experienced in childhood. For some of you guys, this could be directly connected to a child, um, like one of your kids or doing something that you promised yourself not to do. And then you kind of realize, oh, am I really going down that route type of energy? It's almost like an aha moment that's happening, but it's almost what they're showing me is like this, what's the word I'm looking for? It's almost like this um, coming full circle type of energy. I'm going to just go out and say it. For some of you guys that experience like abuse in early childhood, I feel like this month you're going to feel not necessarily vindicated, but you're going to feel like that person is definitely dealing with what they deserve. I'm just going to put it out there. I don't go deep into very heavy stuff. Okay. All right. Moving on in regards to your career and finances, we have the two of swords. Okay. Cancer. It's very important for you guys this month to not be overspending, to not be extremely optimistic that you are taking unnecessary risk. Okay, Cancer, very important. Do not take unnecessary risks this month because I feel like there's always this hopefulness around you. Um, and it's like too much hopefulness, kind of like saggy energy, you know, like um, taking unnecessary risks just because you just, you know, come out of it without any scrapes. Don't do that. Okay. What they're telling you is try the best you can to be more 
wiser when it comes to your finances, when it comes to your career. If you're missing, stop missing. If you're being late, stop being late. Just because they haven't told you anything doesn't mean it's not going to catch up because it's going to catch up. So again, don't take unnecessary risk this month. Cancer. All right. In regards to your challenge here, we have the four of pentacles. I feel like it, this reading has more to do with your finances, Cancer. So again, we talk about unnecessary risk. Now is the time to save. Now is the time to not overspend. Don't overindulge your kids in gifts and presents and stuff like that when you know that, you know, the rent's coming up or that you have to put money on the side because a bill or an expense or something like that. Be wiser about it. And for some of you guys, try the best you can to don't take unnecessary risk or spend money because there is an unexpected expense that's going to be coming up for you guys this month, okay? So this could be in connection with where you live or your apartment or your house or like something breaks or a leakage, something, um, the refrigerator breaks down, something like that. That is an unexpected expense that comes up. So be wise about your money this month, Cancer. Now, when we talk about love and romance, you have the sun card. So the sun card is blessings. It's experiencing the joy, experiencing the emotional connection. I feel this month is going to be very great for you guys when it comes to love and romance. For some of you guys, those of you guys that are single, there's a connection that's coming through. For some of you guys, you're connecting with a Leo that is coming through. Uh, or that you will be meeting this month, but there is definitely blessings that are being bestowed upon you when it comes to love and romance. Now, finally, Spirit's message here is the Page of Swords. Again, don't be very impulsive this month, Cancer. I don't want to, you know, I don't like to be go deep into when it's like heavy shit, but I'll keep it simple. What they're saying is this month, you're going to be very impulsive. That's why they're warning you about your finances. That's why they're warning you about things that are coming up that you don't see coming and is going to catch you off guard if you are taking unnecessary risk or spending too much. With this page of swords, I feel like spirit's message is try to control your impulses, okay? So this can also be in correlation with connections with people that you're dealing with. You may feel extremely triggered this month. Try the best you can to keep everything balanced. Meditate or journal. All right, my lovelies, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, my lovely Leos. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is coming through for Leos this month of December 2023? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oh, we got cards flying out. Okay. Here we go. In regards to communication, you have the page of cups, page of cups. Very amorous this month. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're going to be communicating or messaging back and forth with someone that is interested in you or you're already dealing with them. I don't know why I'm dancing or like moving. I feel like you guys are going to be very much like excited about certain things that are happening uh, in your love life this month. That's for sure. But I feel like in general, when it comes to communication, it is very... There is no challenges here in your communication this month. I feel like it's reciprocated type of energy. It's going to be very easy and people are going to be seeming to be on the same page with you, Leo. Now, when it comes to your finances and career, we have the sun card. There's an unexpected blessing that's coming your way. Leo, for some of you guys, this is an unexpected bonus check, something that comes through. I'm seeing for some of you guys, it's coming through in the mail so not sure if it's like something that like uh, government or something that owes you money that finally comes through. If you weren't expecting it, uh, there could have been something of a mistake done in your taxes, for example, that's coming through because I'm seeing a document like being delivered to you and there is money there. Um, and it's an unexpected blessing. But for other others of you, if you've been concerned or worried about your career or your finances, uh, things are going to progressively start to get better for you guys this month in December. I feel like you are picking up the pace or being able to put money on the side and begin to save again. So positive energy here. Now, when we talk about your challenge for this month is the King of Pentacles. So the challenge in the King of Pentacles is not being too stubborn or not being too stuck in the mud, Leo. Try the best to embrace more spontaneous type of energy. I feel like you guys have kind of 
fallen into this like routine and what they're telling you is it's time to like it's time to you know become more alive your natural self uh king of pentacles indicates again uh, being a little bit too stubborn in certain areas of your life or maybe even with dealing with people try the best you can to be more open-minded uh leo i feel that that's gonna really help you in many aspects of your life but primarily i feel like it's gonna not make you seem so closed off right now like you know uh it's almost the energy of being stuck in the mud like there is like I don't know if it has to do with your daily routine or with becoming may maybe a little bit antisocial lately. And what they're telling you is that you need to, you need more spontaneity in your life. So fully embrace that, Leo. Now, when we talk about love and romance, we have the three of wands. So the three of wands is thinking about or wondering what is to come when it comes to your love and romance. And it's walking towards the four of of wands, which indicates stability. So there is a situation surrounding love and romance that you kind of still feel like maybe up in the air. Do not worry about that. I feel like it could be, it could be a lot of things that are happening right now, not just with you, but with the person you're dealing with or was dealing with. But I feel like for this month, communication happens or they reach out and they bring to you clarity or there is clarity that's happening between you two that bring you guys closer and almost makes you feel like you guys are on the same wavelength or on the same page, okay? And finally, your spirit's message here is the queen of pentacles. So again, finances are going to definitely grow and prosper for you guys this month going into January as well. If there's any worries or concerns, I wouldn't necessarily worry about it. I feel like spirit is definitely stepping forward and kind of guiding you or pushing you towards the path that you should be on. So definitely be able to embrace whatever new changes are coming your way. It's going to be the easiest way for you to fully experience the blessings coming to you. All right, my lovelies, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For the month of December. Oh, we got cards flying out, you guys. Okay. I'm going to stick with them. Oh, powerful energy here. Okay. All right, Virgo. When it comes to communication, you have the Ace of Cups. So being on the same page, being able to communicate very easily. I feel like there's no stagnation of communication. Whereas last month, I felt like you guys were going to be a little bit challenged in that aspect. But this month of December, I feel like you're being embraced or the energy is being reciprocated. Now, when we talk about your career and finances, there is a decision that's going to be made. Uh, for some of you guys, I feel like you're being given an offer or some type of offer comes through where you have to make a decision. And it's almost like they're making you feel a little bit of pressure by making that decision. Take your time, Virgo. If you're unsure, don't let nobody rush you. If you need to ask for time, ask for time, but do not be shy about asking for time. Speak up, okay? That's going to be the payoff for you. It's going to be very important for you to make the decision that is right for you and not what other people are pressuring you to want to do, okay? Very important. Now, when we talk about the challenge for this month, Virgo, you have the death card and the death card indicates a little bit of struggle with changes. It could be connected to your finances and career. But again, the death card always speaks about when it shows up in a reading, the change is already inevitable. It's already here. So it's kind of like someone knocking on your door, right? And they seen you through the window and you're still hoping that they're going to leave, but they keep knocking. Like you cannot, you know, you cannot not acknowledge it. At this point, it's time to embrace the changes. Yes, it can be scary. Yes, the unknown sometimes could be a bit intimidating. However, it can always be a major blessing, a blessing that you were not expecting, something that definitely comes through for you that completely changes your life for the positive. So again, embrace these changes. Now, when it comes to love and romance, we have the eight of wands. So the eight of wands, quick communication coming back and forth. If you guys have been on the not so excited love 
aspect, um, nothing really happening there. That's definitely not going to be uh, the case this month. I see you guys communicating or connecting with people that are definitely feeling you guys, Virgo. So put yourself out there. I see you guys being very attractive this month or pulling in more people uh, that are wanting to get your attention or wanting to get to know you. If you guys are in a relationship, again, passion is definitely something that is going to be coming through for you guys. If there's been a bit of lack of excitement in your love life with your partner, that's not going to be the case. I see you guys being very intense or passionate this month. Now, when we talk about Spirit's message here, we have the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords of Spirit's message is, again, what I said. If there is a need of that you're being rushed or that you're being pushed to make a decision, take your time. And do not be shy about speaking up for yourself and saying, hey, you know what? I can't make this decision if it's a decision about having to, as an example, having to change uh, your job or your position or going to another company or having to commute. It's something that is going to affect your everyday life, right? So it's something that you should really take your time in deciding. Don't allow people to treat you um, like you're a pushover or to treat you like, you know, it's on their time and not on your time. Speak up for yourself. All right, my lovelies. Moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Libra, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of December, 2023. Let's see what you guys can expect of this month, Libra, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of December, 2023. One more shuffle. Thank you. All right, here we go, Libra. Your first card with communication, you have the Knight of Wands. So there is communication coming through for some of you guys. What I'm hearing is for some of you guys, you're going to be hearing from someone that is at a distance uh, that is trying to reconnect with you. So this could be an ex-partner, could be an ex-lover, could be a friend that you fell off with. Uh, there is like a revisiting of the past, but reconnecting um, through quick communication. So again, could be social media, could be uh, that they find you on Facebook or they find you on Instagram or something like that. And it's almost like the revisiting of nostalgia um, page of wands doesn't necessarily, uh, connect with that, but sorry, knight of wands doesn't necessarily connect with that, but I definitely do see like, like someone looking you up. So don't be surprised if like an ex-partner or something or your childhood, you know, friend finds you on social media or something. Uh, and don't be surprised when they do communicate that they were actually looking you up because I see them like looking you up or writing, you know, what they remember, your name was or last name or that type of energy. So uh, I feel like it's a beautiful surprise. It's not negative or anything like that, but it's something that is definitely going to catch you a little bit off guard this month. Now, when it comes to your career and finances, you have the five of swords. So the five of swords indicates feeling very confrontational Libra. My advice for you guys this month is try the best you can not to be ruled by ego. So what I mean by that is if there is a supervisor or someone in higher position that maybe a bit more ignorant than you, or maybe uh, not necessarily the brightest, you know, crayon on the box. Uh, don't let your ego get the best of you and kind of like treat them in a way where it's just going to make them want to make your life more difficult. Uh, you know what I mean? Like what they're saying is try the best you can to stay in line, uh, which is not necessarily something that they usually say. But I feel like for some of you guys, I feel like people are going to be testing you this month and in testing you, don't let your ego get so, you know, like so much in your ego that you're not willing to hear people out or that you feel like you have to prove something by belittling them. Um, try the best you can to keep that in check this month, Libra. Now, when it comes to your challenge for this month is the two of pentacles. So yeah, I feel like for some of you guys, you're going to be put in a position this month, uh, Libra, where people are making it a little bit difficult for, people are making it very difficult for you guys to kind of be on the same page. And when I say people, it could be like your partner, it could be a person that you're dealing with, that just, you guys just seem to not be like, I hear a lot of misunderstandings and it's more about the ego. It's more about me proving to you that I'm right and you're wrong. Um, try the best you can to be more accepting this month or to be more compassionate this month, Libra. 
because I feel like that's really the challenge. And what happens is that sometimes we, you know, when it comes as an example, when it comes to relationships, if we start to notice certain changes about a partner, instead of us asking ourselves, okay, what is it that's changing in their life that maybe they are experiencing like, you know, stress or more opposition or more challenges, we kind of make it about ourselves and we're like, oh, well, you know, it has something to do with me. Are they talking with someone else? Are they dealing with someone else? Why are they changing? And you know what I'm saying? So what they're telling you is don't let your mind get the best of you this month. Try the best you can to come from a more loving or more compassionate side. And this is not just in love. It's in every aspect with the people that you deal with on an everyday basis. All right. When it comes to love and romance, yes, they, you have the Ace of Pentacles. So for some of you guys in regards to love and romance, there's an offer that's coming through. For others of you, you could be dealing with an Earth Energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. I feel like this has more to do, though, with a offer that is being set on the table. So there's some type of agreement. Some of you guys are taking it to the next level or deciding to get engaged. Or for some of you guys, you're getting engaged. So again, if that partner has been a little bit seeming off or like they're not necessarily present when you guys are hanging out or whatever, maybe it's the stress of this. So try the best you can to be compassionate and to be understanding. Now, finally, Spirit's message for you, Libra, is the Hermit. And the Hermit is about enlightenment. It is about taking the higher route. It is about, you know, being able to be guided through your light or listening to the voice within. It is about connecting um, to higher source, to your spirituality, to your higher self. So the message here is, again, I feel like I feel like other people this month are going to challenge you in your pride or your ego. If you remain true to yourself and don't allow people to get you out of character, you've already won half the battle. So don't allow people to get you so triggered that the nasty in you comes out because then you lost and they've already won because they already got you to react a certain way. So again, what spirit is telling you is stay centered this month, Libra. All right, my lovelies, moving on here. Finally, Scorpio, Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio, my lovely Scorpios, sun, moon, rising, Venus, for the month of December 2023. If you guys like these videos, like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you guys are interested in any of the readings or spell work or journals, everything that we have, you have it all in the description box below. All right, here we go, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of December 2023. When it comes to your communications, Scorpio, you have the hermit. I feel like you guys this month are going to be a little bit more isolated, a little bit more. Yeah, isolated. I feel like you guys are taking some time for yourselves or making yourselves a priority this month. Um, it's always like what I'm hearing is something that I constantly say uh, on a personal level. Uh, when you're very social and dealing with a lot of people and then you kind of over exhausted yourself. I have a tendency of telling like my sisters, for example, like I am, you know, um, I'm done peopling, you know, I'm done dealing with people right now. Uh, so I completely disconnect and that's what they're showing me. So it's almost this feeling of like wanting to reconnect with yourself. And it's something that is very important. Try the best you can to, uh, Try the best you can to make yourself a priority Scorpio. What I mean by that is if you're feeling like your body's a little bit off or like there's pains, there's certain things that are coming up on the physical aspect, take care of that or pay attention to that. There is need for you to take care of yourself, whether it's getting sleep, whether it's taking teas to actually not be restless at night. Uh, it's about making yourself a priority this month, okay? Now, when we talk about... um when we talk about career and finances, we have the chariot card. So there is some type of victory, some type of success that is happening this month for you guys. For some of you guys, there is an opportunity that's coming through 
And I feel the reason for it is because you're very much a leader, Scorpio, or you're being seen as a leader, like you're able to lead people or you're able to oversee people. So there may be an opportunity of a higher position that comes in for you that you may see as a challenge, but I feel like it's a very awesome opportunity for you to really take the reins on that because I see you guys really flourishing in that. So fully embrace it. Uh, definitely see you guys very empowered this month in your career and your finances. Now, when we talk about your challenge for this month is the nine of pentacles. So the nine of pentacles as a challenge usually indicates trying the best you can not to be so, um, try the best you can not to be so selfish with the people around you or with your family members or with your loved ones. So what I mean by that is, you know, the opposite of some signs that I advise to, you know, be selfish. I feel like in this aspect, try the best you can not to be selfish in the aspect of wrapping yourself so much into your work or career as an example, that when you get home, your kids want to spend time with you. And you say you can't really give them that attention because you're just tired and exhausted. Remember, it's important to be present in the now. And yes, sometimes working hard is very exhausting, but also this like discarding someone's feelings or discarding a child that wants to spend time with you is very hurtful for them because they don't understand that you just did 12, 13 hours as an example. So being more aware of those that you spend a lot of time with or your your family dynamic, basically, it's about nurturing. It's about bringing balance into your life. And I feel this month is going to be, that's going to be very important. Now, when we talk about love and romance, you have the eight of wands, a lot of passion, a lot of desire. There is definitely a lot of uh, passion that is happening for some of you guys. If you feel like love has been a bit stale or your relationship has become a bit routine, that's going to be changing. I feel like you guys are becoming closer or getting closer to each other and becoming more physical. Now, when we talk about your spirit's advice here is the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands is taking on the new opportunities, taking on being focused, being determined, being excited about new opportunities that are coming your way. Again, they're highlighting the chariot. So whatever opportunity that comes your way in regards to your career and finances, now is the time to take advantage of that. I see you guys really like being good or getting closer to like a higher authority, higher position, someone that is like really up there that is really seeing the potential in you. And I almost feel like they're kind of wanting to bring you you know, like to train you, like to personally, you know, guide you, uh, almost like taking you under their wing, definitely take an opportunity with that, because I feel like it's really going to pay off, pay off for you guys in the end. So uh, beautiful energy here. I want to wish you guys all the very best. Happy holidays, you guys. I wish you the best and we will see each other soon. Until then, bye.